Hey there internets, I'm Michael and this is Two Can Play That Game and today we are bringing you the next instalment in my Diaries of a Newbie YouTuber segment. So let's just start with an update on how the channel's doing. So since last week we are now at day 26 of the channel going uh, which is just under four weeks and the Twitter account has been going for two weeks now and we are at 536 views and 141 subscribers on YouTube and then on Twitter I have 977 followers as of uh, the point of writing this video so obviously that may have changed by the time you are watching this and we are very close now to that important watermark moment of a thousand followers. So since doing the last video, I have found that the uptake spiked when I first did the last diaries video. That seemed to create a influx of both subscribers, viewers and followers. And so that was really good to see that. And it really got my hopes up at the beginning of last week. Unfortunately, that has very much so. There was kind of this, oh, going up, going up, going up, spike when this video came out and then plummet down. So back end of last week, it was really slow on the growth. I don't know if it was coincidence that the Diaries video caused that spike or if it was just convenient co coincidence on when it came out or why that number had then dropped off. Was it just because I've kind of peaked now and I know there was a case of few people leaving. So I don't know. I mean, obviously any of you out there doing similar, I don't know if you're seeing similar patterns or if there's anything you'd like to discuss on it, of course, do let me know in the comments or on Twitter. Um, so obviously closing thought on that, maybe Twitter isn't quite as good as I did indicate last week but I'm still convinced that it is a good way to reach your target audience. It is definitely working more than any other free means of doing that that I've been able to identify. So the main thing I wanted to talk about on today's video was sound. Now, of all the comments and complaints I have received about the channel, the one that came up most frequently and was raised as the biggest issue was the sound on the channel. And it wasn't that there was an issue with the clarity of people not being able to understand my words. The issue was with the volume and it wasn't even on all devices. There was definitely an issue for people on TVs and on computers and on some mobile devices. Now, I didn't see this issue on my own device or on my wife's device, but I was aware it was there. And so I set out last week to try and solve this. But I have a really tight budget because I'm unemployed and this channel isn't making any money yet. So I was trying to find the way I could do this and be able to afford it and ideally do it for free. There was no freeway, that was for certain. I spent probably a couple of days in the end total researching a lot about microphones specifically, but also researching microphones, the way they connect cameras, work with cameras, what cameras you can use, because what I was finding in my initial research is that I would need to buy a new camera as well as a microphone. And a reasonably good camera would be a huge amount of money. We're talking hundreds. If I'd gone wanted like a professional level, level um, video camera, thousands. But even like DSLRs that most people doing uh, video, YouTube videos use would have been hundreds of pounds. And that's just not money I could afford. And then on top of that, then what I determined was best for the type of video I am doing would have been a clip mic, but a wireless one, and a reasonable wireless mic that would give consistently good quality and everything else you need to connect it to the cameras, etc. Again, would have been a couple of hundred pounds. So 
it, it was kind of soul destroying. I was, just, I, I knew I had a problem. I knew I needed to find a way to solve that problem and I couldn't find it. And I think part of the problem is I'd identified that I needed a wireless microphone and a clip microphone. And I was searching for that and trying to find one that would work with my phone that I'm using as a camera. And I couldn't find anything. And all the stuff I was finding was very much, there is this TSSR connection for the phone, and that's the type of connection you need, but you don't know until you try the microphone whether or not it's got the right TSSR. So anyone who's had problems like this, the, basically it came down to, I would have to just buy a microphone with the right type of connector and see if it worked. Which is a lot of money to, you know, I mean, it's a lot of money to spend buying a microphone just to see if it works. And I couldn't find anywhere where you could go and test this kind of technology in the UK. But I mean, I don't know, there might be some out there. I couldn't find anything. Um, I was near the point of giving up. Um, my wife did a search for me and actually found a wired one by a company called Rode, I think it's pronounced. There's like an accent or something on the O, but who knows. But um, that was coming up a lot in my research as a really good microphone brand. It's a wired one, but it said that it does work for mobile devices. Now, it specified iPhones, but it did say, and also some Android devices. So there was this glimmer of hope, and it was only £40. So my wife just bought it for me. And so I'm very thankful to her for doing that because, you know, she's invested money in what I'm doing and in the hope that I can succeed at doing this and be happy doing this. So I'm very grateful to her for that. Now, you can probably tell this wire is kind of in the shot at the moment because it's only a metre long. Now, we were aware of that when we ordered it and we did spend, I think, just like a few pounds to get an extension cable. Uh, that should hopefully mean that's going to be less of an issue. But that hasn't arrived yet. So when that arrives, that th this cable here should hopefully disappear out of shot. I'll like tuck it through clothes or something. I'll figure, I'll figure something out anyway. But um, yeah, so obviously I'm trying this out. I did some testing yesterday, did some test videos that I uploaded so that I could watch on various devices, borrowing computers, um, phones, TVs, um, just reaching out to various people, getting them to try it and see if it was better. And everyone said it was. So hopefully you watching this, you will also find it better. If you do have any comments about the sound, then please do let me know. And also, of course, if you have any other comments about the channel as a whole or things that you feel I'm not doing well, please let me know about those as well and I will try and address them. I've also had some comments about where I was recording. Well, not necessarily exactly where I was recording, but the backdrop of where I was recording. So obviously I was doing it in front of a cupboard that had games in because I know when I watch games videos, I like to see games in the background. Unfortunately, the cupboard I was using has doors. Now, a few people said those make the channel seem unprofessional and that they should be taken off. But the simple fact is that's the way my cupboard is. I don't have one of these big, expensive IKEA cupboards. I would like to get one. Um, there's definitely a plan to get one, but where it would go would be in a dark room that would be terrible for recording. So I've kind of got this difficult choice to make. And um, what I've decided to do is, I'm, I, there's no way I'm removing the cupboards off my door. That is the way it is. This is my home as well as where I am recording these videos and I'm keeping it that way. But what I'm trying is to record somewhere else in the house that will hopefully still have reasonably good lighting and not have an unprofessional feel to it. So again, please do let me know what you think about where I'm recording now. So obviously, I mean, I've tried to make it kind of minimal. There is a couple of pictures on the wall and you can kind of see a bit of the TV, but for the most part, it will hopefully be unoffensive. But if you would prefer me to move back to being in front of games so that there are games visible, 
please do let me know on Twitter or in the comments. Um, if you prefer it how it is, then also let me know. If you feel I should do something completely different, then give me some suggestions. I'm happy to hear them. The final thing I wanna say in this video is with that kind of slowdown on the growth, I'm looking into what I can now do to grow the channel further. And I'd really appreciate any thoughts any of you have, anything you have done yourself if you have a YouTube channel that you have found works to get more people viewing the videos, sharing the videos and joining the channel and just enjoying the content I'm putting out. And finally, I would like to say thank you to Olivia who has already given me a suggestion. She has suggested I link my videos to Board Game Geek so that people going to the Board Game Geek pages for those games will see my videos. So I hope to be able to start doing that later on today and start linking my videos on Board Game Geek. And if we see an increase, I'll of course let you know. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. Please do share the channel with all your friends and family and anyone else. Just get as many people as you can watching and enjoying it. And of course, do subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you for watching and bye for now.